Welcome to the third installment of Getting Started with LT Spice. We're going to be covering AC analysis, which provides the frequency response of your circuit. This can be viewed as a Bode plot with the magnitude and phase of your gain, viewed on the Cartesian coordinate system with the real and imaginary axis, and also viewed as a Nyquist plot. Let's put together a first order passive low pass filter. The circuit consists of a resistor, capacitor, and a small signal AC source. So let's put down our same voltage source, right click, advanced, and here we're only concerned with the small signal AC analysis. Here in parentheses you'll see dot AC. So when you're performing an AC analysis, come to this box. So the AC amplitude, we can choose one. Throw down our resistor. Down a capacitor, got a ground. And let's connect this up. Okay, add some values. Now what's really cool about building filters in LT Spice is that if you are designing for a specific cutoff frequency and you know that you need one value to be a certain value but you don't want to go through the math, you can actually set up the other uh, component as a parameter and step through values until you find the one that you need. That will be covered in a later video. So put down a resistance of 1K, capacitance of uh, let's say 100U, we'll see what that looks like, and then we can change those values if we want to see something different. Let's throw down a label. And let's go ahead and add some text. So here we're going to be doing an AC analysis. And we're doing this on a low pass filter. And that's what your notes will look like. So to run an AC analysis, we're going to go to simulate, edit simulation command, and we'll choose AC analysis. Let's go to decade. Do 100 points per decade, starting frequency of 1, and let's just go out to 1 meg. We'll see what we really need to look at once we simulate it. Hit run. Show our V out. And here with this value, as you can see that the uh, cutoff frequency is below 10 hertz, which I don't even know what you would be. Filtering up. That's definitely a low pass filter, probably a little too low. So, why don't we increase or decrease the size of this capacitor? Let's say 10 nano. Run it again. And that, that pushed out that cutoff frequency to about 10 kilohertz. So, here what you're looking at is the magnitude and phase plot of the gain of your low pass filter. If you did not want to look at the phase, you can actually just left click this, don't plot phase. If you want it back, let's go ahead and plot the phase. And let's see what this tells you. So, when you're looking at the frequency response of a first order low pass filter, let's first find the cutoff frequency, which is at the negative 3 dB point. To add a cursor, we're going to left click on the label for V of V out, and we can move this over until we see that we are minus 3 dB from our magnitude. And I'm looking at this number here. So this is about the 3D magnitude phase, so that means that our cutoff frequency is about 15 kilohertz. And we know that that's going to be the cutoff frequency because our phase is negative 45 degrees. Uh, 
Uh, so this is a great screenshot to take for, you know, if you're taking your circuits one or two class. So once you have this cursor over where your cutoff frequency is, it's really easy to see that this is your pass band and that this is your stop band. Every point on this plot from the cutoff frequency down has a slope of negative 20 dB per decade. Which means that your the output is less than unity, which means at those high frequencies that capacitor is going to start to uh, allow current to flow through the capacitor and drop that voltage. But on this side, at the lower frequencies, that capacitor isn't going to act like a short, and you're going to get that voltage. And so it is, it's kind of neat to see that, you know, everything in this stop band is going to be greatly attenuated. And that's about it for AC analysis at this time. Actually, we can go ahead and cover a few more plot settings, though. If you left click on this side, you can actually change the vertical axis. So let's say we want to see the full uh, waveform. We can go slightly above. And let's just say we look at it at 1 dB instead of 0. And I don't think we need to change the bottom. It won't help us at all. But now you can see the whole, the whole line rather than it being at the very top. And maybe we only, we only care to see it just after the... Uh, cutoff frequency, so let's just take this out to 100 kilohertz instead. And there we can see we don't have the full picture, but you know if you needed to only take it out to the 3 dB point, you could also you could do that.